Um, it's, um, I think it's, 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 it's normal. It's normal in my, in my thoughts in regards to every, every one of the nations of two points home, which is very, very important. So it depends on who is good enough now or who is strong enough in terms of character to go away from home and get um, res, um, results. And that would, that would be the difference. And, um, um, that would be the difference. And the, and the permutations also. So people are saying, uh, they are looking at it this way. So we are away in Ghana. Uh, Kenya is going to Ethiopia. So how do you look at those permutations? Because it's always like, oh, once you're playing home, victory is guaranteed. Well, I think in African football, that's a myth. You know, that you've got, you've got to get your own points. Just in football in general, I think. So those are the things we've got to work around. If we can get three points, three points from our three home games... And then we go away from home and in one of those three games and get something out of it. You never know. I think that's how we've got to work. I think every one of those nations is going to work around that. And hopefully, if we can be as strong as we, we want to be mentally and, and, and work around that, I think it, it's viable. So we're just going to look around that. What do you, how do you see the Ghanaians now? Because they're looking at cleaning house. So they're rooting out sometimes. Maybe they might recall them, but they are you brothers. It's like... There is an X on their names and some other key players. So the way you know Ghana now and the way Ghanaian football is, how do you weigh our chances? I think we we just got to be very, very strong in our approach, uh, Durosumi. Um, I think if you're, if you're looking at it from, um, what is it, personnel, I think they're more better in regards to personnel, you know. If they're getting rid of the IUs and the, and the, what is his name up front and they bring him, that's because they feel those players are up to the level that is required for them to be part of what they're trying to do. And we, we just have to grow. We just have to try and get to that level ourselves. Again, the other question you, you'll ask you is this, do we, are we ready to get to that level? I think we are if we're, if we're determined and if we're strong about our, our approach. And that's how we've got to look at it. I don't think we can look at it from personnel. Because if we do, then we're going to get it wrong. I think we've just got to look at it holistically and say, okay, we're going to go against a Ghana, a Ghana side that we feel we, we, can, we can get something out of. And that's how we've got to look at it. You, you were very hard on, you know, saying, assessing in your assessment of the contribution of some top players in the team after the Ethiopia game. Okay, we're not asking you to name names, but looking at your options in bringing in a revamped, refreshed legs, Leon Stars. Which kind of names are you thinking about now that you could bring into the squad? Well, you know, um, we've still got time. We've still got a month, which is not time at all, saying we have time. You know, we'll, we'll assess it, you know, um, Durusimi. I think it's very important as well in regards to when you want to start making transition. You've got the right blend as well. You know, we're, we're going to look at that. Um, I think we, we need a lot more in terms of, you know, freshening things up so that we can have a good mentality around, you know, so that's what it is. But again, we'll look at what do you think the, the blend of the mixture is going to be like and what is going to work. And hopefully that's how we want to work. And let me throw a name into that mix um, because you've been criticised for leaving that name out. It's Mustafa Bundu. Um, I think people have been very, very unreasonable around Mustafa. Um, again, I think sometimes... This is the problem we have in Australian football. People propelling players, thinking they're ready when we feel there are other players that we think are ahead of them. That's how I look at it. You know, in the Mustafa situation, everybody is saying, oh, Mustafa, Mustafa, and the boy, the boy is going to go and play for the Danish thing. Hey, you know, it's up to him what he wants to do. But for me, the way I look today, I look to the people that we took along. I look at Kai, scoring goals, you know, experience. Crespo, again, experience. Buya, you know, experience scoring goals. Kwame, experience scoring goals Christian Moses experience scoring goals Bakayoko didn't come but experience scoring goals we had Jibila Ube that went so I'm thinking I cannot just overload the squad with strikers and out of all the strikers with Sheka Fofana as well out of all the strikers that we've called I think Mustafa Bundu is the least experienced in the national side is the least in regards to scoring goals overseas and he's the youngest among this group of players. So I don't understand why people are pushing, propelling, propelling. You've got to bring, when I bring him in, what am I going to bring him to come and do at this moment in time? So he's the future. And we've got to start looking at that and be reasonable in regards to if one of these guys is not there, he'll come in. And I think that's how it works in football. But people keep, oh Mustafa, Mustafa, but how many goals is he scored if we want to start looking at what the boy has done? Let's give the boy an opportunity to grow in terms of when we need to bring him in, he's ready. Not trying to propel him, propel him because we feel... People want to do that because other players are not their players. 
And I think that's how Sierra Leoneans look at it. And I don't look at it from that point of view. I look at it from the point of being the experience, the age, and whatever it is where they're doing on the outside to bring players in. Why Bakayoko wasn't able to come? Because I think he had a situation um, with the passport. You know, I, I think the new regulations in Sierra Leone now you have to come home with the fingerprinting situations and, and, and do that. And he hasn't got that. And apparently he had a match as well, which was on Sky TV as well. So, again, you can understand that. You know, you look at this, you look at him there. So, I think that's what it was. But we'll revisit that, you know, and look at it. How good we are Ethiopia? I don't think, I think Ethiopia, you could tell majority of the home base players and they've been together for a long time that's what it showed you know in terms of um, how strong that remains to be seen but it's just that well, let me ask you another way yeah. since that remains to be seen yeah. so if you meet them again neutral venue what would you do uh, differently if I had a group of boys that I took to Liberia that I've worked with for the last seven years it would be a different game because I think these boys have been together as much as they've been together. They all know how to work in terms of the energy levels, everything else. I think I can throw, I can throw a coin on that. And, and you just said something which um, you know, I won't be forgiven if I don't ask you as a follow-up. So, will more home-based players then come into let's, the team? Let's, let's see. <laughs> what, what, is, what is giving me, uh, Darius, is the fact that I said in there that I've learned a lot. And what, it, what is also giving me now is the, is the fact that I can come in now and say, okay, I'm bringing in amounts, certain amounts of home base and of foreigners, foreign base players. Nobody's going to question me because of the result we have. Prior to that, I couldn't do that because then everybody would have said, oh, well, the predicament is on the ground. Those me, doesn't allow me to do that. But what he's done for me now is allowed me to go with those ones and I've seen what is there and I've seen what is here. Now I have got an answer to the problem in the future. So that's what it is. But John, I can't let you go without you talking again because it's about the contract situation with you. Was it was it later? Well, they, they, they'll sit down and look at it. Do you see me? I'm always, you know, <laughs> I, I just want to concentrate on what we're doing at the main time. You know, um, we're in an environment where, you know, it's no good. You do all this and then just two days before Ghana, and then something happens. Well, it is what it is. It's, it's football. It's life. You know, we we move on. You know, um, I've what I what I what I've tried to do as a coach is, is work to the best of my ability. And hopefully, away from me, I'll get something else to do, which I know. Yeah, it's a fact. So, whatever happens, happens. We just got to keep believing. And that's why I do. Keep believing.